on February 6th at 6.15 a.m., The Hill publishes a story saying Buttigieg and Sanders are in a virtual tie. The story neglects to mention at any point in the story that Bernie Sanders actually leads in the popular vote totals. So I decided to cajole the author to edit the story. I went to his Twitter page where he was mentioning that his news organization was hiring an online news editor. With one of my Twitter accounts, I said, will said editor be required to ignore important aspects of news stories like Bernie Sanders leading and actual votes tallied? Then I went in with another one of my Twitter accounts and said, right, kind of an important aspect to a news story about a tie in the delegate race. And I listed the actual results, which show, of course, that Bernie Sanders is leading by over 2,000 votes. I did this at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, last updated at 7.48 a.m. So 18 minutes after my second tweet, boom, Sanders leads the popular vote according to the results getting 26.5% compared to Buttigieg's 25%. That translates into a difference of about 2,500 votes. That paragraph was not in this Hill story until I made him put it in there. Simply by confronting the author with his lack of journalistic ethics. It's an important part of the story and it should be in there. But I don't want to question his ethics now because he went ahead and fixed it after I told him to on Twitter. And that, my friends, is how you run a democracy.